Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is the 10th chapter of uh, rigging in Maya. In the previous chapters, we have already discussed how to create the FK uh, controller system and also how to maintain the you know the axis of rotation uh, for those controllers. And in this chapter, we are going moving forward and discuss about the IK handles and also how to you know uh, put the IK handles in the right place. Okay, uh, this is my right hand, and I uh, already uh, uh, assigned the name of uh, uh, its underscore as an FK. But uh, I'll just duplicate this, and I'll just create the IK joint chain. And in future, uh, we will uh, definitely going to create the IK FK switching, and I will show you how to use those, uh, how to create that IK FK switching. But for now, I'll just uh, move on to duplicate this. And just hitting Control D, and you can see immediately it's uh, actually uh, create its own naming conventions, which is not actually desirable, and it should be IK. Okay, go to the it's IK, and also for the wrist, IK. Okay. Okay, so I have now two joint chains. One is FK and one other one is IK. You can see that. Fine. Now, by clicking the uh, left or right arrow of your, on your keyboard, I can go back to the you know FK selections. Just go to the FK and I'll just create a layer. And it is FK joints. I just hide them so that I don't accidentally select the FK joints. So right now I'm just selecting the shoulder underscore R underscore IK. So <coughs> now when you were actually uh, putting an IK system, uh, you have to remember for the hands that your hand should be aligned. In a very you know uh, uh, precisely on on into each other on the y axis or whatever the secondary axis you are actually using, and that all I have already discussed for for the FK joints also because of the rotational uh, alignment of the gizmo, and uh, for that if you if you miss those chapters please uh, go through the uh, chapter eight and nine to understand why I'm uh, going to uh, use that in a, in a FK and how to use that. How to create that okay, and the same thing will go for the IK chain also. Uh, why that particular things happens, or why this is very important, why this is necessary to align this uh, y axis uh, of the of the rotational gizmo you know, with the with the child parent and child. Because uh, I'll just uh, show you why this is uh, really important. Let's say I'm just uh, uh, create a a skeleton by pressing shift and make it absolutely straight and I want to use it something like this now let's say I'm just uh, rotate this and I didn't maintain the align because okay uh, you can say this Hang on, I am not using FK, so why should I maintain that rotational axis to be aligned? Because rotation is not going to, you know, consider any calculation in IK because IK is absolutely based on the in the positional movements, not on the not on the rotational ones. So I'm not going to maintain that. I'm I'm just uh, creating just uh, my joint chain according to my requirement. I just I desired. But hang on, I just see what is absolutely important for this kind of uh, IK chain also. Go to modify and freeze transformation. I have already freeze transform it. Okay. Now go to, you can have a perfect uh, angle also. Fine. Okay. Now go to the IK and go to the IK handle tool. Select the RP solvers. Okay. Then select on the IK chain. And it's absolutely perfect. So why should I maintain that particular joint? I uh, sorry the the alignment of the of the, of the axis. 
with the parent and child. Now, okay. The problem is whenever you are going to use your pole vector controls, like for the elbow, the, your, your problem will start. Now, let's see. Just create a uh, locator. Okay. Just uh, pressing V. By pressing V, you can align with this particular joint. And just uh, increase the scale. Okay. And now just pushing it back. Fine. Okay. Now, <coughs> whenever I'm selecting this locator and shift select the IGA handle, go to constraint and it's a pole vector. Just uh, make sure the weight is 1 and hit add. The moment you hit add, you can see your your joint chain, your joint which has been already been freezed on also. You have already, you know, uh, freeze the transformation from the modifier. If you remember that, in spite of that, your joint chain has been flipped on on its original position. Now, why this is happened? Because that's where the uh, the positional of that particular joint chain comes to play. Because rotation is actually happening, and that's why you 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 are facing some kind of flipping uh, on your on your hands in IK. So to avoid that, this scenario, to avoid this particular uh, incident, you have to, you have to, uh, you know, uh, you have to uh, maintain that particular joint chain into it. So I, I'm just, I'm just, uh, okay, okay, go to the, uh, sorry, go to the front panel. Okay, now that's why I have to maintain this. Now let's see what what is happening over here also. Now just uh, in case I'm just freezing the transformation values. Okay, go to the skeleton. I can handle tool right, solver. We do it here, and uh, it's an absolutely perfectly been done. Okay, and now if I create a a locator and Fine. Fine. Just uh, increase the scale. Sorry. Pushing it backward. Fine. And just select the uh, locator that we want to create as an elbow controller. Then shift select the IK handle. Fine. And go to constraint and pole vector. And oops, sorry, go to the front panel and you can see it. Constraint pole vector, and immediately you can see that pole vector has been assigned, but still my position has not, so hasn't been hampered. So that's the, that is the reason that uh, that you should, you know, you can see the controller is absolutely working fine. Now that's why you now we can understand that why we should maintain this particular axis the angle for from the from the shoulder to elbow to wrist so that uh, while we are using the pole vector constraint it's work absolutely fine without any kind of flipping or or any kind of uh, other you know uh, other problems or other uh, artifact that actually happen while you are not maintaining maintaining that particular angle so this is how we can put the uh, joint, uh, sorry, the IK handles on, on the hands. So it has been clear that uh, uh, the rotational axis also working in behind of the IK, IK handles that is actually calculating the, the rotational axis also. So it is very, very important that you keep in mind that this kind of rotational alignment is very, very important for creating an IK also. So hope you enjoy this. We'll go to the next chapter while creating the uh, IK handle controllers and how to, uh, to use that and finalizing your you know your uh, your controlling system for the character. Hope you enjoy this. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thank you very much.